Today I am going to sketch a cluster of tulips. Tulips are the aristocracy among flowers and also symbolize triumph and beauty. They also represent the expression of love and everlasting blessings. Tulips are the heralds of spring. Their presence indicates the conclusion of winter and the commencement of a fresh season. This exquisite and majestic flower also signifies the love and eternal blessings of God. In the Bible, there was a woman called Ruth, and her life received blessings as exquisite as the vibrant and colorful tulips that bloom in the springtime, spreading joy and beauty all around. Ruth is mentioned in the Book of Ruth in the Old Testament. She was a woman from Moab who resided with her husband in Moab. Regrettably, both her husband and her husband's father passed away. She and her mother-in-law found themselves in a solitary and vulnerable situation. However, Luther firmly believed that his grandmother's God was his God, and he believed that this God could bring him peace and blessings. He decided to stay by his grandmother's side, never leaving or abandoning her. While she was working in the fields, she caught the attention of a man named Guas. Guas was attracted to her kindness and diligence, and eventually became her husband. God's blessings came upon her, and Luther also became the grandmother of a big eater, someone who had a hearty appetite and enjoyed indulging in food. Jesus mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 27, I leave peace to you. God rarely separates us into comfortable environments because we need to grow. When we feel worried and afraid, God promises to be with us. It is God's presence, not the comfortable environment, that strengthens our faith. There are many examples in the Bible. God made Abraham leave his wealthy family and go to a place he did not know. A nation was born from Abraham's obedience. God made Moses confront Pharaoh, the most powerful person in the world at that time. Moses obeyed, and God delivered the people. These instances demonstrate how God challenges us to step out of our comfort zones and trust in his guidance, leading to remarkable outcomes. God communicated to Jesus, stating that when every individual desires to return to the only place, if he demonstrates strength and courage, God will walk alongside him and bestow upon them land as a gift. Jesus, Joshua, be strong and courageous. God will be with them and grant them the land. In the scriptures, we repeatedly witness this kind of story happening again and again. When they are afraid, God is always with them. Perhaps at this time, you find yourself in an environment you don't like, or you are misunderstood at work, or you are facing illness, or you are currently unemployed. But Jesus says to you, I leave peace with you. Today, Go and buy a bouquet of tulips and put them beside you. The words of the Lord Jesus echo in your ears once again. I give you peace. Amen. Let these words bring comfort and assurance to your troubled heart. Trust in God's presence and his promise of peace, for he is faithful and will never leave you alone in your struggles.